Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. We're going to do um, a little dessert presentation tonight. Uh, we're going to use some fresh fruit, and uh, I guess the star of the show is going to be this uh, little dip that we're going to use. Uh, I think I'm going to really like it. It's not going to be really overly sweet. I'm going to put a little bit less sugar than the recipe calls for, but I'll let you know what the, uh, the actual recipe says. All right, so let's uh, get started. All right, what I want to start with is just get the, the fruit and put it on a little serving platter. Uh, I'm going to start with strawberries. That's going to be the main thing. So we'll cut the ends off. So let's see, I want to cut each of these. Uh, I got some pretty big strawberries. I want to cut them in half lengthwise. So if you have a, little, a small melon baller, that should probably work better. I'm just going to use a quarter teaspoon and just try to scoop out. You want to scoop out a little hole because we're going to stuff these. So if you can see these, now if you really want these to stand perfectly, you could uh, cut like a little bit off that back side so that it creates like a little flat shelf for it to stand on. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. These look okay for me. So I also have some blackberries and blueberries. We can just sprinkle some of these on here just to kind of make it look pretty. We'll fix that up at the end. And then what you what you can do for the middle, like if you want to have a bunch of the, you know, like the, the smaller fruit, like the berries and stuff, what I'm going to do here at the end, I'm going to cut this apple in half, scoop out a big hole in that apple, and that I probably will cut off the end so it sits flat, and I'll set that in the middle. So you can either, you know, eat the apple with the dip in it, or you can scoop in, uh, you know, dip your berries and that in there with, use this fork or a spoon uh, for that middle piece like I said I'm using an apple you could use a peach um, actually cantaloupe would probably work real good because that would hold more of the dip I'm not going to cut the apple till right at the very end just so that it doesn't start browning okay so there's two parts to the dip I'm going to start with um, the, the thick and creamy part. I've got a one eight ounce brick of cream cheese to that. Like I said, I'm going to add a third of a cup of sugar. Um, the recipe actually called for two thirds. I'm gonna go a little light on the sugar. We'll see what it tastes like. A third of a cup of sour cream. And you know, I have another recipe out there for a, like an apple salad. It may also be like a Waldorf salad. And I just love the, the sauce with the, uh, the mandarin oranges and the apple, and it's got a, a mayonnaise type sauce. I just think that, and I'm not a big mayonnaise fan, but I think it just really goes well with apples and oranges. And I may kind of play around with this and maybe include mayonnaise later on. Okay third of a cup of sour cream. Uh, that cream cheese is already uh, softened, by the way. It'll mix a lot easier. We'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And about a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Okay, I got my hand mixer, electric mixer. We're just gonna whip that up till it's really nice and smooth. Now I see hindsight is 2020 because uh, the next thing we're going to do is whip up some heavy whipping cream, no sugar in it, just whip it up. So I probably, it'd have been easier to do that first, that way I wouldn't have had to clean off the, the beaters. So 
but that's okay. We'll take one cup of heavy cream. And again, I'm gonna use the electric mixer. I wanna time it for five minutes. Uh, but you know, we should just get some really nice, light, fluffy whipped cream. Okay, there's my one cup. So it's pretty amazing. You hit four minutes and boy, you could just feel that turning into whipped cream. So, so I've got my cream cheese and sugar mixture and I'm gonna gently fold the whipped cream in, in to, let me taste that. Mm, interesting, very light and fluffy, but you know, no sugar. So I'm just gonna lightly fold this. I don't wanna stir too much. And I did taste that cream cheese mixture. And I, for me, I think that third of a cup of sugar is gonna be fine. See, that's a you know, pretty easy way to make whipped cream. Uh, that way you, you control, you, get, you know, add sugar in there to make it sweet, but then you get, to, you control how much sugar you actually put in. And of course, I, you know, I went exactly five minutes. If you do this too much, you'll get butter. <laughs> what I really like about I could just eat that out <laughs> as it is. It reminds me of uh, making a cheesecake before you bake it. I can just eat, eat that whole batter. All right, let me fill up the apple. Okay. You can slice off the bottom part of that apple to make it level. Much better. Okay, just start filling up these strawberries. Okay, for a little last topping, I'm gonna put little sprinkles of uh, graham cracker crumbs. Try one of the strawberries. Hmm. Wow, I really like these. It's like having fresh fruit and dip it in the cheesecake batter. <laughs> Wonderful, oh, I really enjoy this. Man, that cream cheese and that lemon juice, mm, mm, mm. That whipped cream makes it kind of a little bit lighter than just the, you know, the heavy cheesecake. Excellent, really enjoy it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there. Thank you so much for watching.